Have you earned a certificate in a recent online program? I've got a really great way for you to merchandise this on your LinkedIn profile. Keep watching and I'll walk you through the steps on how and why. So first thing you'll need to do is navigate to your LinkedIn profile. If you've never added a certificate to your profile before, what you're going to need to do is go under add profile section. It's in your top header card, that little white box in there. And then scroll down to where it says recommended. Click on that little drop down carrot and you'll see add licenses and certifications. Now, if you've already got licenses and certifications on your profile, you could certainly scroll down to that section as well. But let's assume this is the first time you're adding it in. The next thing you'll need to do is write in the name of their certificate. So in this case, I might say, for example, certificate of completion, the recipe for social selling. Okay. Now, if your certificate doesn't appear in the drop down, that's okay. You can put in custom text inside this field. You are going to want to take note of the required fields. You don't have to fill in everything inside this section, but do make sure that you put the name of the certificate. And then next, this is really important. You want to make sure that you're putting in the name of the organization. If they have a company page on LinkedIn, it's going to be linked to their profile. So let's say for example, here, this is a student who enrolled in my program for Meller Marketing. I'm going to type in the name of my company name until it appears in that drop down, and then I'm going to select it. Issue date is optional. You can put both month and year, or you can just select year in there. If there's not an expiration date, for example, a CPA license might have an expiration date. If there's not an expiration date, you can leave that blank. You can skip the credential ID field. If the organization does have a website, where people can go and learn more about the certificate program, you can certainly put that in there, just the landing page for the website. Or sometimes you'll see that an organization gives you a credential URL, which points people to the online version of your certificate with your name and the license ID number. In this case, I'm just gonna use the landing page for my program, which is called The Recipe. You can see it up on screen here. And this will help to promote that program to other people. Optional, you can add in skills in here. LinkedIn says associate at least one skill to this license or certification. So in this case, you certainly could put something in here that is relevant to the certificate that you earned inside there. In this case, it's a social selling program, so I'm going to put social selling as a skill. Now, media, this is really important. What I would recommend that you do is upload media into this certification section. And LinkedIn says you can add media like images, documents, sites, or presentations. So if you click on add media, you can see a couple different options inside here. You certainly could put the web link for the landing page for that certificate. Once you click on add, it would show the picture of that landing page, but let's say instead you do have a certificate that the organization issued to you, then what you'll do is click on add media and then select add media in the drop down that appears underneath that. From here, you'll be able to navigate to any place on your laptop or computer where you've saved a copy of their certificate. Now, in this case, you can choose between a PDF copy and a PNG. Let's see what happens with each. So if I choose the PNG, it opens it up. And then you can see that the thumbnail will appear there. You certainly can add a separate description. It'll pull in the file name as a starting point. So you could put certificate. And then if the organization does have a certificate description, you can certainly plug that in here. This is certainly optional. Once you click on apply and save, you're going to notice here that it will be added to your licenses or certification section. And it will also give you the opportunity to share this update with your network. Now from here, if you click on next, it will give you the opportunity to change that image. So if you don't like the cheesy graphic that they give you from LinkedIn, do keep in mind, you can certainly upload an image of your choosing inside here. Now, in this case, since the organization is providing a PNG format, you can certainly use that in there and then modify the language in there if you wish. Now, let's try that again, but now with the PDF, just to see the difference in what appears if you upload a PDF instead. I'm going to pre-populate the information pretty quickly here because LinkedIn will remember it from the last time that I typed this in. And then I'm going to go down to media. And now instead of uploading a PNG, I'm going to click on the PDF instead. Now you should see the same thing will happen here. If you would like, you can certainly rename the certificate title field inside here. I'm just going to put certificate for now. If you want, you can add in a description. Now the great thing about having certificates on your profile, it's a really great way of merchandising educational achievements 
that you've completed. And you can see inside here, once this has been added, it's going to appear at the top. LinkedIn will order these by date of completion. So the most recent achievement will go to the top of the list. If you have chosen to add any web links, it would be clickable from that area of your profile where people can click on over and learn more about the certificate path. But this is a really great way of merchandising those additional educational programs that you've worked through. And this really works well, whether it is a credentialing organization, or in this case, if you're completing an online program and you simply wish to merchandise those certificates of completion that you're earning. It's a really great way to do both inside your profile as well as in a LinkedIn post. And that's it. You've got a certificate of completion on your profile and a really great way of now merchandising those additional skills that you have gained. Hey, if you found this video helpful, I'd love it if you could drop a comment below. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you're subscribing to my channel and getting notified of my latest video updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over on LinkedIn.